Hello, my name is Jingo Nelly, and I'm going to be taking you through another part of database models. And uh, before I begin off, I'm going to require you to subscribe and also follow what I'm pointing at because I'm already having laid down information. So for the fifth model, we are having an uh, object-oriented database model. And um, this is the data model in which data is stored in form of objects, which are in uh, instance variables or instances of classes. So these classes and objects together make up an object-oriented database model based upon real-world objects. So some of the terms used in the object-oriented database model, we have an object. Object is anything in the real world which has or which have state and behavior. So for state uh, means uh, being uh, properties of the object such as name, color, price, address, etc. And uh, behavior meaning that uh, how do objects uh, behave? For example, people speaking um, something, meaning that uh, speak is the behavior of the people. Then uh, we have a class. A class is a group of related objects. Then attribute or instance instance variables or instances. So this is the this is data that is held by the objects in each of the class. Um, each object contains a unique ID, and uh, thus can be used to access each other. So the object-oriented database model all models support uh, the modeling and creation of data as objects with the uh, characteristics of inheritance, poly polymorphism, then encapsulation and uh, abstraction that enable the storage and retrieval of complex data types. So what do they mean by inheritance? Inheritance is the ability of an object with a, within a particular class to inherit or contain the data of another object. Then uh, we are having polymorphism. Polymorphism, what do they mean by that? It is uh, the, capa the capability of an object to take multiple forms. Then encapsulation is the ability of an object to contain uh, both the data structures and the methods to manipulate the data. Then abstraction um, is the procedure of uh, representing only the essential data features for the needed, uh, for the needed functionality. Then you should note that the object-oriented database models can easily be understood by the by uh, uh, by comparing it to the relation database models. So you get to you get back to the video of the of the relation database models to understand them more, and then you relate them with the object-oriented database models. Then the biggest differ the biggest uh, differences between the uh, relation database models and the object-oriented database models is that the object data, the object data oriented uh, database models they handle more complex data types uh, like uh, hypermedia graphics, videos, etc. While the relational database uh, the relational database handles the handle or stores simple data such as uh, date of birth. Then uh, in object-oriented database models. Mm, data can be updated without affecting other objects. While in relation data models, updating one tuple or record uh, can change the entire table. Uh, for example, here we are having uh, an illustration whereby this is the entire column uh, is for objects and the entire uh, column is for attributes. So each object gets to have its own uh, particular class. So the person is having a class. Uh, which is the entire row which is having the attributes of name, age, and address. Then uh, moving on, looking at the advantages, it has uh, reduced paging. So here in, uh, in uh, technical terms, uh, this means uh, less calls and checks are made to the system as a whole, uh, resulting in uh, less overhead and less system resources being used due to information being in one class. And then we are having data concurrency in uh, databases is made simpler when using objects as the system can now see data as a whole and control it as such rather than individual data items. When with the disadvantages we are having, uh, efficiency is uh, greatly reduced when it comes to working with uh, simple data and relationships. Then uh, uh, looking at the database types. Uh, we are having uh, some of the types as a uh, flat file. Now, we, with flat file here, uh, data has no relationship between its records. Uh, each record has a line of uh, text and uses commas, tabs, or 
other indicators within the line to separate the text. By having single user here, only one person can use the database at any time. And then multiple user, many people can use the database at any time. It can be centralized and, and uh, also distributed. So with a centralized, a centralized database is stored on one computer system and accessed by many. Uh, while so while a uh, distributed database is stored on uh, different computer systems and uh, and accessed by anyone from anywhere, then we're having the general purpose database. This can be used for a large number of uh, applications. Then special purpose database, it is designed for a limited number of applications or to serve um, a specific need. Uh, for example, hospital database system with information locked to the hospital. Then we are having the open source database, for example, the, the MySQL. Um, then using databases is mainly done in two ways. We're having the front end here, one that directly interacts with the people or users. Then we're having the back end application, uh, one that interacts with other programs or applications. Then I'm having an example. Um, for a website, the user interface is the front end and uh, behind the website is the back end which interacts with the system developers. Then uh, other terms that can be used in the database, we are having normalization. So with normalization, uh, this helps us to remove redundancy such as repeating groups. So a database that is not uh, normalized, we uh, will have uh, inefficient queries and will delete information when it is when it when it should not or update only part of the information so meaning we should always no, uh, normalize our database systems then now uh, we're having the database administrator this is a skilled and a trained computer professional who di who directs all activities related to an organization's database uh, then last we're having a uh, database recoverability uh, which is defined as a, a way to store data as a backup and then uh, test the backups to make sure that they are valid. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.